So, of course, when you look at the world, the world is heading in the direction that the father of lies himself wants them to go in. That's where our world is heading. For most people, it's not a problem. It's okay. They're okay with that. But the Bible says in Proverbs 14, 12, and it repeats the same thing in Proverbs 16, 25, there is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. So the world believes this lie, and they're going to be brought to death or destruction because of it, but for how long are they going to believe this lie? You know, lies, they, they don't last too long. Sooner or later, they always get uncovered. But how long is the world going to believe this lie? Have you guys heard of Jehe? If you're an Arab, you should have heard of Jehe. All right? Jehe is an old folklore character. And um, there's a story about Jehe for every situation. So if you're Arab and you haven't heard of Jehe, you're not Arab enough. All right? So there's one particular story. And I think I've told this story before one time, but it suits the message. So I'm going to say it again. Jehe goes to this particular town, him and a friend, they're, they're walking through and they come to this particular town. And what they find is there's a lot of wealth in that town. And Jehe and his friends start talking, they go, you know what, this town is worth robbing. But the problem with this town is that it never seemed to stop. There was always people around, there was always people doing stuff. You could never do something without being seen. And at night, they'd close the gates to this town, so you really couldn't get in there unless you, you lived there. So it was difficult for Jehe and his friend to do what they wanted to do. So Jehe started thinking and, and planning about how he could rob this town. And then he was discussing with his friend and he came up with an idea. And Jehe says, we have to be very convincing though. So what Jehe and his friend do, they go get dressed as prospectors. They get some picks and put it over their shoulder and they even get gold pans and carry that. And they come running through the gates of the town and they, they start screaming out, gold, gold, they found gold in the mountains. There's gold, lots and lots of gold. People look at each other and before you know it, people are running out of the, the town gates. In the beginning, Jehan and his friend are quite pleased. But after a short while, there's, there's not many people left. And before you know it, the entire town has emptied out. Not a single soul left in that town. Every single last person believed the lie that these two came and spread in that town. A little perplexed, Jehe looks at his friend and he says, Do you think there really might be gold up in the mountains? And his friend says, Well, God, I know, but if, if we don't hurry up and catch up to him, we're going to miss out. You know, the world has believed this lie, and it seems like everyone is believing it. Even as Christians, there is a way to fill that hole in your heart with something other than Jesus or along with Jesus. They tell you there's satisfaction in life if you become rich. You will be content if you're famous. You, if you get good at this or good at that, your problems will be over. If this person loves you, then life will be good. If you're promoted, it's all smooth sailing from there. My friend, it's all a lie. My Christian friend, it's all a lie. 